Hi there, I'm Shannon Gregory from Microcell Sciences. I do live and layered blood cell microscopy. And I wanna do a video to kind of go over um, some of the questions I get on a regular basis as to what is live blood cell? Why is there a lot of skepticism behind it? Um, and what my company personally does differently than others. So first of all, live blood cell, we do take a small uh, pinprick sample of your blood. We take it from the finger and then we spread it on numerous slides. It's very, very important that we do take numerous samples. We take up to three and four to look at as there's a lot of investigation that has to happen here, um, looking at what is happening in the terrain of the blood cells. Live blood cell has a lot of skepticism behind it, unfortunately. If you go on uh, Dr. Google, um, there'll be a lot of quackery, as per se, uh, behind that. And what I need to explain to you guys is, is a lot of that so-called quackery is because Western medicine believes the blood is sterile. They don't believe that all of this bacteria and parasites can be living in the bloodstream without you being really sick in the hospital needing an IV. Now, what we do and what live blood is, is we look at a non-sterile sample. So we are looking at the blood on a non-sterile sample, knowing that our environment has changed, knowing that we are exposed to things on a daily basis. And we have layers of us that we've been exposed by travel, what we've eaten, where we live, numerous things, even the homes we live in, sometimes there's molds and things like that. So live blood cell kind of looks in between all of the things that Western medicine does and, and lines up quite a bit with some of the things Western medicine is looking at, such as low immune, so on and so forth. So my company is a little different. What I found was when I started my company um, that there was a lot of skepticism behind live blood. So my main thing was is to bring as much science into uh, this particular protocol as much so that people can see that there is a form of microbiology in behind it. So what we've done as a company is we've intertwined microbiology into every one of our appointments. This enables us to be more advanced in possible Lyme infections, uh, co-infections that do relate to vector bites, and that means bites that you have had from a spider, from a mosquito, from a tick. Um, this is things that we have additional knowledge in, and I do extreme training with my staff in regards to the types of bacteria that we're seeing. Certain types of bacteria that we're seeing does matter on in many, many circumstances. If you have chronic UTIs and I'm seeing an enormous amount of caucus or entrococcus, I need to address that because it's systemic in the body and that it's being released through the urinary tract. If you're getting a lot of weakness, joint pain, things like that, sometimes we will see more of a bacilli bacteria that is intercellular or that is creating a lot of muscular issues. Again, we know what to do to treat these things. We have over 60 doctors that refer to my company for the scientific standpoint that we have and looking at a different standpoint than what Western medicine is looking at. Live blood cell also can look at what the immune system's doing. And I'm really, really shocked because our immune system has really taken quite a toll in the last two to three years, obviously with COVID. With the vaccinations that we have, with all the stress we've been under, um, it's been a lot on our immune systems. So this is another nice snapshot is, what is your immune system doing after vaccinations? What does your blood look like after vaccinations? Or even after COVID? Because we are seeing, again, specific things in the blood from some of the vaccinations and from having COVID. Your gut does seem to become leaky when we do have COVID. And in the intern, we're seeing different types of bacteria coming out, unfortunately, that we haven't seen before that should be in our gut lumens. 
If this interests you, we'd love to see you for an appointment. We do have nine locations across the GTA, and anybody in Canada can ship us a sample. We do do virtual calls as well, and we go through everything with you. Please visit our website at www.microcellsciences.com. Thank you very much.